When it comes to using your PC, there's so many different peripherals that you can use to make your life easier. And today we're gonna look at one that I actually like a lot. This is the MX Creative Console from Logitech. And this is a really, really handy peripheral that helps you customize your experience for creative apps, gaming, and so much more. So we're gonna do kind of a deep dive, test this out in a couple of different applications, and have a little fun as well. So the MX Creative Console is actually two devices that you get together, one of which is the MX Creative Keypad, and here is the MX Creative Dial Pad. The dial pad is actually pretty nice because this is wireless, it runs off of two little AAA batteries, and this has 18 months of battery life, which is actually really impressive. And this connects via Bluetooth, there's a handy little button back here that you can use to sync to your PC, and you can actually sync this up to three different devices. Now, this has your big dial, and it also has a couple of customizable buttons here, but what I really like is the MX Creative keypad. This is nine customizable keys that also have individual little customizable screens for each one. So having this open just in general on my PC, I have some of my top apps as well as some of my sort of top uses. You know, for instance, I'm always opening a Windows Explorer window or I'm toggling my volume or even just a quick screenshot button, but I also like this for being able to open up my apps very quickly. So Photoshop, DaVinci Resolve, some of my games, easily accessible. Now it's fully customizable. So that means you can really program this to do whatever you want. And with the Logitech software, depending on the application, it's gonna come with a bunch of pre-baked settings. So for instance, DaVinci Resolve, all the Adobe Creative Apps, uh, it already integrates with those applications. So everything that you need is really just a button press away. Instead of having to customize keyboard shortcut for uh, raising the audio or cutting your clip or anything like that, it already has that baked in. So I could just find what I need, change speed, freeze frame. I have my color panel, my edit panel. Um, it's actually really impressive the amount of different customizable settings that are already baked into the app. And that's because the Logitech app integrates directly with the applications. And they're working with more and more third-party uh, applications to integrate their software together. So the suite of software is actually, it's really comprehensive. Um, for instance, for the DaVinci Resolve, you open up DaVinci Resolve, changes the profile to what I have set up for DaVinci Resolve here. And I really like this because I can use the dial pad to sort of scroll through my footage here. You know, I can play easily, pause, I can make my cuts. But I also really like this quick action ring. And this is nice because it gives you eight more customizable functions that you can bring up at your cursor at any time. And you can customize this to the dial pad or the keypad or anything else. But this gives you additional things. So for instance, in my color tab here, I have my color tab open for DaVinci Resolve. I wanna add a couple of serial nodes. And usually to do that, you can just kind of like right click add node, or you can even do like Alt S on the keyboard. But the cool thing is I can just go here, have that open right there. If I wanna take a still, grab a still image, and I have that already set up over there. So it's actually pretty comprehensive, the things that you can do here. I have my footage here on the timeline, so I can zoom in and out on my timeline, kind of scrub through, play through my footage. Oh, there's a bit I really like there, so I can kind of scrub back, split my clip there, and then I can continue my edit. All of these things are fully customizable, and everything on the keypad you can add even more. So if you wanna add more serial nodes, if you wanna navigate through your different windows, if you want to have a pre-baked setting for uh, color correction and have it sort of like click through and get everything set up with your nodes, you can do all of that. So that's actually really, really cool. And then if I wanna change to a different app, it's gonna take me to Photoshop right there. And it's gonna open it up right away. So customization is the name of the game when it comes to the MX Creative Console. And I think customization is really key because no two people work the same, right? Everyone has sort of a different workflow. I've always been big on keyboard shortcuts when it comes to all of my editing programs. And this definitely takes some of the heavy lifting off of that when it comes to memorizing them. Because when you go from Adobe to DaVinci Resolve to something else uh, and have <laughs> like those keyboard shortcuts start to get mixed up in your head a little bit. So having it pre-baked onto a device like this is actually really helpful. So looking in the Logitech software, uh, it's actually very, very simple. Once you get everything plugged in, your 
keypad actually plugs in via USB-C, and then you can hook up your dial pad via Bluetooth. Both devices will be pulled up over here, so you can just open them up, customize your keys, so for instance, my generic profile, when I don't have any specific program open that I have a profile for, this is what it's gonna show. So I have my top six apps that I like to have here, as well as a couple of window settings. And you can see I have everything programmed here on the keypad, but what I really like about the keypad, the keypad has built-in buttons to swipe between different pages and you can add as many pages as you want. So you can have tons and tons of things programmed on different pages there. And I like that they are dedicated buttons for the pages. Um, other devices similar to this, you actually have to use the screen buttons to scroll through the different pages. So that means you could be losing anywhere from two to three different customizable buttons just dedicated for scrolling through, which is kind of disappointing. So the fact that there's dedicated buttons for that, so you have the nine dedicated customizable screen buttons for your app is really nice. You can also go over here to your MX Creative dial pad. So this is what I have set up for DaVinci Resolve, and these are really easy to customize. So for instance, if I want to put like a cut and copy, I can literally just drag and drop this onto those buttons and that's it, it's all set. Now, same thing for your action ring as well. If you click over here, you can scroll through, you can see all of your DaVinci Resolve actions already preset and you can add and change whatever you want there. Go to Photoshop, you can see everything I have set up for the dial pad, you can see everything I have set up for the keypad, and everything set up for the action ring. So you get three different layers of customization and several pages within the keypad, which is really cool. Now, another cool feature that I programmed here is actually for Microsoft Teams. So I have this programmed when I have Teams open. If I want to do a phone call with anyone or a video call, literally touch of a button when I have the chat open. I can even open up new chats or anything else. I can turn my camera on and off whenever I need. I can turn my mic off whenever I need to so I can mute myself. And the best part is, hang up at the click of a button. It's always annoying when you're on a Teams call with someone and you can always like have to sort of navigate towards the leave button and try to find it, especially because Teams has it in one place, Zoom has it in a different place, and you're always kind of like looking around for it. So now it's just a touch of a button, I can just hang up. So when it comes to creative apps, DaVinci Resolve, Photoshop, you know, After Effects, Premiere, anything you can think of. If you're big on creativity, you can already start thinking of the different ways that you can customize the MX Creative Console. In Photoshop, if you need to add layers, switch to your clone stamp, anything like that, same with DaVinci, same with Premiere. I mean, the possibilities really are endless. But there's a couple of other cool things you could do, especially when it comes to gaming as well as streaming. This works really, really well with OBS, and when you have your games open, uh, you can customize quite a bit. So I have Helldivers 2 open here, and I wanna show you some of the fun things that I've programmed with the MX Creative Console. I'm gonna get set up in streamer mode. So if you're big into gaming uh, and you're big into streaming, something like this is actually really awesome to use for streaming. There's the obvious stuff you can do. You can mute your mic, you can mute your audio, you can toggle anything like that you need in the game. But I also customized this for Helldivers 2 because in this game, when you wanna use uh, some of your stratagems, now I can do it at the press of a button. So I press that and I can just start throwing down everything that I need. So that's kind of funny, I blew myself up. Now for this device, what's nice about it is because it's so lightweight and since it's on the cable here, you can move it around. I prefer when I'm gaming, I like to have it on the right side. When I'm doing creative stuff, I actually like to have it on the left side. But in this specific instance, uh, in this game, you have to press all of these different keys and there's several different things that you have to do. Like every stratagem has a unique kind of key combination that you have to press and memorizing them can be quite a bit, especially if you're changing them all the time. So now I customized it. So at the press of a button, I could just bring it down, which if you've ever played this game, it gets a little bit chaotic. So it's nice that you can bring this up and start using it. Now, the other cool thing about this, I have this programmed with OBS and there's a plugin that I'm using uh, called Atom, uh, and what this does is this has a rolling buffer that's continually running. And it's really cool because I can use this to make vertical clips that are ready for social media. So for instance, if I'm gonna go in here, and maybe I wanna like drop this bomb, run in there, and then I start charging in. And let's say something really funny happens, like, uh-oh, I jumped on the bomb and I blew up. Well, guess what? At the touch of a button, I can press that. 
and it'll generate a clip of what just happened. So at the press of a button, what I can do is I can make a 90 second clip, 60 second clip, 30 second, whatever you want. And it's already formatted for vertical video. So I have two different settings here. So I'm streaming in horizontal like I normally would, but then I also have my vertical set up for clips. And this allows me to take whatever game I'm making and create a lot of content in batches because you know, anyone who plays a lot of games knows that when they're playing stuff, a lot of funny things happen and they would make really great clips that they can share to social media. So that means that I can get all of the content that I need for my YouTube channel, for Instagram, TikTok, anything like that. And using this device with these plugins and OBS, really, really handy. And obviously you can program this for everything else you wanna do in OBS, start and stop your stream, start and stop your recording, mute your mic, anything else like that. If you wanna change scenes in OBS, that's also really easy to change. But the one I wanted to highlight the most was the vertical clip capturing, because I think that's actually a really cool feature set that you can do. Because once you get all of these vertical clips, for instance, you can see I have several already here laid out. Well, then I can just take that, take that into my editing program of choice. All right, and there we go. I dragged my clip in. I just made that clip a minute ago. So I can go in here. I can take part I like right there. Take that. I can kind of like scrub through. And I have this prepped for uploading directly to social media. Uh, it's really that simple. And using something like the MX Creative Console actually makes that entire process easier. From opening your game, playing your game, streaming with your game, capturing the clips, then you take it into your editor, and then you can use this to help you with your editing process, and then you can upload it straight to whatever platform you're working off of. That's an entire workflow where the MX Creative Console really helps you out a ton. And I think all around, it's just a really awesome device. What would you do with the MX Creative Console? Let me know in the comments below. And make sure you stop by your local micro center to check it out, as well as any other peripherals you want to truly customize your PC experience. And if you don't have a micro center near you, then be sure to comment hashtag I want a micro center near me.